Let's talk about other times this particular party has had, shall we call it, an extremist problem. Well, I was thinking this week about a passing conversation I had, was lucky enough to have with George Herbert Walker Bush, uh, who in 1962, 63, was chairman of the Harris County Republican Party in Houston. Uh, George H.W. Bush was a hugely ambitious, uh, eager uh, politician, son of a senator from Connecticut, uh, wanted to be in politics. The next year, before he turned 40, he announced for the Senate, uh, challenged Ralph Yarborough. He was not someone who was uh, uninterested in his political future. And the John Birch Society, uh, which had been founded, uh, I think, in 1958, uh, it saw uh, General Marshall, President Eisenhower as, quote, conscious agents of the communist conspiracy. Uh, it opposed the fluoridation of water, uh, believing it was a communist plot. I uh, believe there was a, uh, a student essay contest on what were the best grounds on which to impeach Chief Justice Warren. Uh, f uh, from power. Uh, this was, uh, you know, an, a kind of QAnon-like uh, group. And George Bush's task as chairman of the party in Texas, and Texas was a Birch stronghold, was to purge the party uh, to try to say, this is not who we are. Uh, those are extremists. And he did it. And uh, Bill Buckley did the same thing at National Review in, in the same era. And I remember asking the former president whether that had been painful. And he said in that way of his, you know, the way to do George H.W. Bush's voice is Mr. Rogers trying to be John Wayne, uh, as Dana Carvey once said. He said, painful? No. And I did all right. It was hard. But, you know, I did just fine. And I think that's an important point for Republicans who were Republicans before the Trump takeover. And uh, I know there are arguments that it wasn't a takeover, but a natural development. Uh, I think that's a much more debatable point. But at this hour, there is a live extremist element threatening not only the health of one of our parties, but the health of the nation itself and the literal health, as we saw in, uh, if, I, if I may say so, Leader Hoyer's really amazingly good speech this week. Uh, the health of our elected representatives. And you may say, uh, if you're a Democrat, if you're a progressive, you may say, good, let the Republican Party implode. And that may be fine. It may be fine to have this particular iteration of it. But since Jefferson and Hamilton, the country has needed two parties. Having a healthy competition ultimately is good for the country. The problem now, of course, is that one of those parties is not a rational actor. But the example of President Bush shows that you can stand up to extremists and still thrive in that party.